Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Today is the fifth Sunday of Easter. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Dave Concepcion, together with Father Ted Toralba. O sing a new song to the Lord, for He has worked wonders. In the sight of the nations, He has shown His deliverance. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. In this Eucharistic celebration, we continue to pray for all those who are sick, protection for all those who are working in the hospitals and others so that we can continue with our life. We pray for those who who pass away. And today, as we celebrate Mother's Day, we pray in a special way for all mothers. The Mother Earth, the Mother Church, our own mother, and we ask for the intercession of the Mother of Jesus for all our concerns. And so to prepare ourselves to participate in the sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have great listen in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We bless you, we praise you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you are pleased to make new and holy baptism may under your protective care bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Inspired by the Spirit, the young community of believers in Jerusalem grows in number and in organization. Seven men are selected as deacons to assist the apostles. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men filled with the spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task. Whereas, we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community. 
So they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit, also Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles, who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread, and the number of the disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were being obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright of his fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With a ten-string lyre, chant his praises. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Christian believers are like living stones which make up the holy temple of God. This is grace as well as responsibility. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, come to him, a living stone rejected by human beings, but chosen and precious in the sight of God. And like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house, to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it says in Scripture, Behold, I am laying a stone in Zion, a cornerstone, chosen and precious, and whoever believes in it shall not be put to shame. Therefore, its value is for you who have faith. But for those without faith, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, a stone that will make people stumble and a rock that will make them fall. They stumble by disobeying the word, as is their destiny. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his own, so that you may announce the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. 
where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me or else Believe because of the works themselves. Amen. Amen. I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We have been talking about the gospel for the past several days. <clears throat> it is important when you say, do not let your hearts be troubled. It speaks of an attitude. But your attitude will be dependent on your own understanding. Your attitude is dependent on your understanding. Do you understand that God has prepared a place for you? That life simply doesn't end in, in death, but life is transformed from mortal to immortal in death. And my dear friends, this understanding must be lived our, lay of, our way of life on knowing who is this God we follow. He is the way, the truth, and the life. But it is also important that this is, there is a burden within us to know what we are called to do. And perhaps the question of Philip asking the Jesus, how are we going to do it? How are we going to do it? Or Thomas with the same question, how can we know the way? And my dear friends, my brothers and sisters, we continue to re-examine our belief that belief in God must not only be an ascent of the mind, but a conviction of the heart. Now, understanding this, then perhaps we can understand more the first reading. And what is the first reading? That everyone is given a responsibility. Everyone is given a responsibility. Ang lahat ay inaatasan at binibigyan ng Diyos ng responsibilidad. Kaya pag ikaw ay walang ginagawa, mag-isip-isip ka. Kung ikaw ay walang ginagawa, mag-isip-isip ka. Sa madalit sabi, baka hindi mo na isa sa buhay ang iyong pananampalataya. 
the calling of the disciples entails two qualities. Entails two qualities. And what is that? They are people who have the spirit and wisdom. They, ha they are people who have the spirit and wisdom. They are filled, reputable, filled with spirit and wisdom. What is the difference between religious and spiritual? What is the difference between religious and spiritual? Many people who believe, and usually they keep this in themselves, are religious but not really spiritual. They are religious but not spiritual. They are so particular with the rituals in the church. Bagalan po nyo ang rosario. Bilisan po nyo ng konti. Wala pong ilaw yung isang bumbi, yung isa pong uh, kandila sa altar. Lahat na lang nakita. Ano po? They are so religious. They are so religious. Bakit po ang dasal ngayon? Puro glorious ministry. Mystery ay huwebes naman. Ano po? Puro ganyan yan. Baka kayo ay maiwan being religious but you are not spiritual. Religious people are so particular with the norms. And what is spiritual? Bakit hindi tinawag yung mga religious dito? Bakit ang mga spiritual? Spiritual or spirituality means a relationship with the God they believe. Because not all who believe have a relationship. Kaya nga ang tanong ay, ako ba ay may relasyon sa Diyos na aking sinasamba? Yun ang tanong. Kasi pwede kang nagsisimba, pero wala kang relasyon sa Diyos. Pwedeng kahaba-haba ng nubina mo, wala kang relasyon sa Diyos. Lumalakad ka ng palahod sa simbahan, pero nagpapahula ka. Hindi po ba? Meron mga ganun eh. Pagkatapos lumakad ng palahod sa isang simbahan, paglabas magpapahula. Punong-puno ka ng paniniwala sa pungsoy. Hindi po ba? Ano? Nasabi, Sa taong 2020, sabi ng isang magpupunsoy, isang taong masaganang masagana. Yan, ganito kayo, ganit tayo kasagana. Hindi po ba? Ano? Mga minamahal na mga kapatid. Kaya magandang pagtunan ng pansin yun. Hindi porke na kayo uniforme ng kung ano-ano man ng damit sa simbahan, sila spiritual. Hindi po ba? Naalala ko doon sa isang parokya kung saan meron akong kilalang naglilingkod sa simbahan. Iba ang damit niya pag lunes, martes, merkules, webes, biyernes, sabado. Kulang nilang paglinggo. Ha? Nakachosable siya. Ano po? Para paltan si father. Lahat brown, blue, magsabi kayo, green. Ano po? Para matigil, sabi ko, sa prosesyon, isusuot ninyo ang inyong uniforme. Sabi niya, ha? Paano ako, father? Sabi ko, bakit po? Ang dami ko uniforme. Hindi, sabi ko, dalhin niyo ho lahat. Kada kanto, magbihis kayo. Hindi po ba? Hindi lahat ng religious, spiritual. Naalala ko ito sa isang prosesyon. Yung naglilid ng rosario, tabi. Sabi ba naman niya, ano po, di nasa karosa. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Ganyan sila kabibilis, hindi po ba? No? Ha? Ay nalubak ang karosa. Ano po? Ng Our Lady of Mount Carmel, tumagilid. Akala namin matutumba. Nasa mic. Ay, 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 ay! Ina ng Lordes, tulungan mo po ang ina ng Carmel. Ay, talaga naman. Religious ka, pero baka hindi mo naiintindihan ang iyong pananampalataya. 
Magandang pagtunan ng pansin yun. Attending a prayer meeting, doing the rosaries, doing your Bible study should not be limited on it or else you are simply religious. You ask yourself, have you developed your relationship with God? And spirituality is all about relationship with God. That whatever you do, you do it because of your love for God. You ask yourself, are you doing it because of your love for God? And what is wisdom? It is not simply knowing what is right, but doing what is right and avoiding what is wrong. I always say this, if you avoid evil, you are good. But if you do not do good, you are evil. Avoiding evil is good, but not to do good is evil. Two things of those who believe and what makes those things, spirituality and wisdom, meet together? Together with the religiosity, supposed to be, is our belief in God. Our belief in God. Today, we re-examine our belief. Is my belief just simply made me religious or spiritual? Either the two, should make you a person of wisdom. And wisdom is always developed in your fear of God. That's why the second reading invites us and reminds us that not all offerings and sacrifices are acceptable. Not all offerings and sacrifices are acceptable. When it is acceptable, when you are doing the things out of love for God. Today, we are celebrating Mother's Day. Sabi nung isa, to all good and loving mothers, happy Mother's Day. And let me say this to all mothers, happy Mother's Day. If you are a mother, ay sabi nung isa, Paano kung hindi good and loving? Ano bati mo sa kanila? Mother's Day lang. Hindi po ba? Pag good and loving, happy Mother's Day. Pag hindi good and loving, Mother's Day. Walang happy. But what is mother? All life begins with the mother. Remember that. All life begins with the mother. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, even God need a mother to be human. You have to be born of a woman to be human. Do not forget that. That's why you must be grateful to your mother. Good son, good daughter, good priest, name it good people, is because they have good mothers. Bad son, bad daughter, bad people. It is because you have decided to be bad. Don't blame, your Don't blame it to your mother. But what do mother have in common? A little point. First, your mother has given you life. But take note. They cannot leave it for you. Your mother has given you life, but they cannot leave it for you. They have prepared food in your table, but they cannot eat for you. They have taught you of things, but only you have to learn. Kahit anong ituro ng iyong nanay sa iyo, Ikaw pa rin ang mag-aaral at dapat natututo. Your mother has given you directions. But you have to lead yourselves where you want to go. Your mother had allowed you freedom. But he can have, she cannot be accountable for you. 
Kaya nga pag ikaw ay nagwala, kasalanan mo yan. Your mother can always bring you to church. But it is up to you to believe in God. Your mother has taught you what is right and wrong. But it is up to you to decide. Your mother has brought you beautiful clothes. But, he, but she cannot make you beautiful from the inside. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, please look at your mother and perhaps ask yourselves, have I made my mother happy? Have I made my mother happy? Or have I caused hurt on her? Sabi ko nga, ang higit na nagmamahal, higit na nasasaktan. Kaya nga, sino ba mga higit na nasaktan sa mundong ito? Kadalasan ng mga ina, sapagkat sila ang higit na nagmahal. sa kawalang paggalang ng mga anak, sa pagsisigaw ng kalilang mga anak, sa pagbabaliwala ng kalilang mga anak, sa kawalan ng pasasalamat ng kalilang mga anak. I always say this, never marry a person who do not love his or her mother. Pag may naliligaw sa iyo, meron kang nililigawan, dapat pong itinatanong palagi, mahal ba niya ang nanay niya? Or else, you are simply taking a stone to hit your head. You ask yourself, have I been a good child to my mother? Sulit na ba Sapat ba ang aking pagmamahal sa aking ina? Walang perpektong nanay kasi wala namang perpektong anak. Ano ang kaligayahan ng isang ina? Hindi ang anak ay umaman, kundi ang anak ay naging mapagmahal. Sabi nga doon sa kulungan kung saan nag apostolate kami ang isang preso dahil ayaw niya ang dinalang pagkain ng kanyang ina. Isinabog niya ang pagkain sa mukha ng nanay niya sa harapan ng tao. Hindi kami makareak. Kasi pag nag ka, baka mag -rumble. Nung dinampot yung lalaki, tinulungan ko ang matanda. Walisin yung mga sumabog na kanin habang siya'y nagpupunas ng sos ng sardina sa kanyang damit. Hindi ako makaimik. At sabi niya, pasensya ka na anak. Anak ko yan. Anak ko yan. Only a mother can love a child in its worst. Only a mother can love a child in its worst. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, that's why some people would ask, how come God cannot be called mother? How come God cannot be called mother? My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, all life begins with a mother. And hopefully as we celebrate Mother's Day today, you begin to appreciate the life that God has given you through your mother. Kiss your mother for me. 
I thank all the mothers of my friends because without their mothers, I have no friends. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, if you love your wife, those who are married, and you love your wife so much, then you must love your mother-in-law so much. Because you will not have a wife or a husband without a mother-in-law. I've been singing this song since this morning and I would like to thank all the mothers and perhaps to the children hopefully you will understand this. The song that was composed by Cardinal Chito Tagle when he was a seminarian, Pintig ng Puso. And the song goes like this. Mus mus kapalamang minahala kita mula sa kawalan tinuring kang anak sa bawat tawag ko ikay lumalayo Hindi mo babati, ako'y nabibigo. Aking isasaysay, kung mararapati sa una mong hakbang, nang kita'y akayin. Binalabalan ka, matang masintahin. Kinakandong kita, animo'y alipin. Your mother has been a suitor to you. And do not forget many times, your mother has been a slave for you. Say thank you. And hopefully you believe the way you live your life, you express it in your love for your mother. You cannot love God without loving your mother. You cannot love God without loving your mother. If you don't mind, may I ask all the mothers to stand where you are. And may I ask your family to stretch forth your hands towards you. May I ask the mother to stand. And may I ask the rest to stretch forth your hands towards all mothers. Ama naming mapagmahal, idinudulog po namin ang lahat ng inasan man sila naroroon ngayon. Alam mo ang kalilang mga kwento ng mga pagtawa at pagluha. Ang kalilang mga kalungkutan at kasayahan. Mga kabiguan at tagumpay. Ang mga pangarap hindi para sa kalilang mga sarili kundi para sa kalilang mga mahal sa buhay. Idinudulog po namin sila sa inyo, Panginoon. Nawapoy patuloy nyo silang ingatan, ilayo nyo sila sa lahat ng uri ng kapahamakan, patuloy nyo silang pagkaluban ng kalakasan, kalusugan, at kung sino man sa kanilang may karamdaman, nawapoy pagkaluban mo sila ng kagalingan. Hilumin mo mga sugat sa kanilang mga puso, dala ng kawalan ng paggalang na kanilang mga anak. Suklian mo, Panginoon, ang kalang mga pagmamahal at pagtitiis. Kung meron man sila mga problema o suliranin sa buhay, tuwangan mo sila, Panginoon. Alisin mo po ang kalang mga pagkatakot at pangamba. Nawa po, Panginoon, ang kalang mga buhay, ang kalang mga pamilya, ay pagharian mo ng pagmamahalan, pagkakaisa, pagkakasundo-sundo, kapayapaan, kasayahan, 
puspos ng pag-ibig at kasaganahan. Panginoon, in this Mother's Day, I pray that you bless them in a special way, that you may grant their heart's desire. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Happy Mother's Day. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten and made consubstantial with the Father, Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, he was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with his scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us bring before our Heavenly Father the needs of the universal church, our community, and in the world. We put our trust to Him who listens to our prayers. And because of this, we pray in the name of Jesus, And every petition at a response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Father, Francis, our bishops, priests, and deacons, may they not tire of presenting Christ as the one mediator between God and humankind, who alone leads us to the Father. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our government officials, Following the example of the deacons of the early church, may they apply themselves to public service and strive to attend to the needs of the people, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For those who are beset by trouble, loneliness, and fear of death, may they be strengthened by their faith in the Lord Jesus and in the loving mercy of the Father, we pray. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. Prayers. For our ecclesial and parish community, like the first Christians, may we strive for peace, harmony, and sharing within our community, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are in most need of God's help, may the Lord come quickly to their assistance, and may they find solace in their faith, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. We include in our prayer all those who are celebrating their birthday today. God, our loving Father, you have given us Jesus, your Son, to be our way, our truth, and our life. Help us to listen to him and put his teaching into practice, that we may be worthy to enter into your kingdom where he reigns with you and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work human hands have made. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite heart. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who, by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice, made, have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacri sacrifices of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people, exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, Administrator, all the bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor shores forever and ever. Amen. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary worries and distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families, peace in our workplace, peace in our community, peace in our country and in the world, and grant you unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. The Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive him in holy communion. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. In the body and blood of Christ, bring us to everlasting life. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot in this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray the prayer of Padre Pio of Petrucina. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have your presence so that I do not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, for because I am weak and I need your strength, that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you, I am without fervor. 
Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of your consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late and the day is coming to a close. And life passes that judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way. And for that, I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptation, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread. So that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustain me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for, your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you. And ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue to pray the prayer for a new Archbishop for the Archdiocese of Manila. Heavenly Father, you have blessed our Archdiocese time and again with good, holy, learned, and wise shepherds who have led us ever closer to you, aware of your profound love for us. We ask you to bless us once again. Send us a good, holy, learned, and wise man to become our next Archbishop. Inspire us, the clergy, religious, and laity, to work generously with him so that we might grow together in your love and continue the good work you have begun in us for the sake of all people. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for our family. Dearest Father in heaven, bless our family and bless us with new beginnings. Smile upon our parents and surround our children with the soft mantle of your love. Teach every child of ours to follow in your footsteps and to live life in the ways of faith, hope, and charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mention your intentions. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for Santa us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Please rise. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, it is good to be religious, but it is not enough. Be spiritual. Have your relationship with God. That whatever you do, do it out of your love for God. And this relationship will develop you to be man and women, men and women of wisdom. Not only aware of what is right and wrong, but be able to do what is right and avoid what is wrong. Being a spiritual and being a man and woman of wisdom, it is the only way that your sacrifices and offerings are acceptable to God. As I have said and I have been saying through this week, you must know and learn about your faith that you may believe, believe that you may follow, follow that you may remain, Remain that at the end, you will be set apart or be made holy for God. Doon po sa mga mister, paalala, that you must love your wife doubly. You must love your wife being your wife, and you must love your wife being the mother of your children. Love your wife as your wife. And love your wife as the mother of your children. And if you have been raising your voice against your wife, it's a sin. Pag sinisigaw-sigawan mo ang misis mo, kasalanan yun. Magsisi ka habang may panahon pa. <laughs> Repent. Huwag mo nang dagdagan ang pagluha ng iyong misis sa pagiging ina. Children, honor your mother. Kiss your mother for me. By the way, every second choose Sunday of the month, we pray for the little children. So may I ask the little children to gather in your family and let the adults extend your hands towards them. O Heavenly Father, we commend these little children to your care. Be their God and Father and mercifully supply whatever is lacking in us through frailty or negligence. Strengthen them to overcome the corruptions of the world, whether from within or without, and deliver them from the secret snares of the evil one. Pour your grace into their hearts and strengthen and multiply in them the gifts of the Holy Spirit that they may daily grow in grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son. And so in faithfully serving you here on earth, they may come to rejoice in your presence in heaven. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.